Hello my friends all over the internet. So Midjourney sneaked out an update recently and while it's not huge, it does make some significant changes. So I thought we're gonna check them out. I'd love to know what you think about the changes and also if you prefer Midjourney or Stable Diffusion now, put your thoughts in the comments below and I'll check them out. By the way, my boss told me that uh, good employees are hard to find, so, well, I took that to heart and whenever I get to work, I hide. So the current model is Midjourney V4, and while they're working on model 5, they are releasing some styles within 4, which could be similar to a 4.1 or a 4.2, whatever. And they have went from, they started with the style 4A, and then they added the 4B, which was uh, actually a huge leap, uh, especially when you compare the examples they have here. You can see that it, much clearer objects in the foreground. They're actually, the subjects are closer to, to the camera with more detail. And that's the same with style 4C, which is now the new version as well. And this is, you don't actually have to do anything to get this. This is activated by default. So you're getting style 4C now. If you want to use the old Midjourney V4, actually need to prompt that with uh, dash dash style 4a or dash or 4b you can do a comparison of these uh, by yourself but just remember that if you do you need to use the same seed so that would be something like uh, let me show you what i did here is i did here a space nebula with a skull i put the seed to one and then i had um well, I put in style 4C, even though it's that it's default, but just so I could do a, a comparison. And then I did a Space Nebula Skull Seed 1, style 4B. Uh, and then I did a Seed 1, style 4A. Now, the, the 4B and 4C in my example didn't have a lot of changes. Um, you can see in the example here that there's, especially in the fish image here, that there's more color in general. And um, maybe that's a thing, I don't know. In my example here, I couldn't replicate it really in, in, in none of my examples when I, I played with it. Uh, both of these images are pretty colorful in, in general. And, and this one, the old one, didn't get a skull at all for some reason. But if we look at them here, you can see that 4A is, well, it's pretty bland. It's, it's more similar to something that you would get in Stable Fusion with a basic prompt. And the 4B is it's much better. And doing something like this in, in Stable Diffusion, for example, would require a lot more prompting. And here you can get it basically in, with a simple prompt. And they used, what was it here? Vibrant California Poppies style 4B. And here we have style 4C. And in this example, it looks like 4C has more, possibly more detail. But, but I've heard users complaining that 4C actually is a little blurrier, a little less detail. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you've tried both of them. And here, this is the 4C, and this is the 4B. I mean, this example, the image here is much more interesting, but it might not be what you're looking for. Maybe you just wanted a basic school of fish. Anyway, doesn't matter. So style 4C is now the default one, so you don't have to do anything. This is probably the biggest change for most people. You don't have to prompt it to get it here. Now the other changes are, it says here, the style 4C support aspect ratios up to uh, 1, 2 and, and 2, 1. And that's uh, on an axis of, the first is the X, so the horizontal, and the second one is the Y, so, so the vertical. So you can do, uh, if you have a, a 1 as the bottom, you can have 2 up, or you can have two bottom and one up. And I have an example here, which is, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. so here's the aspect ratio to one. So this is the widest you can go. So we have two here, one up. So this is wider than 16 by nine. In that example, it would be 18 by nine. That's the same as uh, two by one. And in the same sense there, you can do vertical images so this is aspect ratio one to two i think most people are just going to use 16 by 9 or 9 by 16. so that's with the new model 4c you can do one by two and two by one if you go back and want to play with 4a or 4b then you only have one by one and two by three and three by two so it's um 
you can do a, a wide and a vertical. It's just not as wide as, or not as tall. And you can see it here. It says that the default aspect ratio is always going to be one by one. And here you have the 4C, which is now the default. It's uh, one by two or two by one. And like we said, 4A and 4B, they can do the standard one by one or two by three, three by two, which is, uh, you can see the examples here, the three by two, two by three, one by one, that's the older ones. And now you can go vertical and, uh, you know, horizontal wider. And this can, you know, four by seven. So it's, uh, since it's a one by two, you can go four by eight. So you can go one more if you wanted to. And the same here, you can go eight by four. So a little wider, you know, everything in between, which is basically here and, and you know, whatever you want. And how you do this is it's the same as before. You just add a dash dash AR and then your aspect ratio. Uh, and if you look at my prompts here, I have aspect ratio two by one, two colon one. And here the vertical is just dash dash AR, one colon two. And you don't have to be, you know, putting some crazy numbers there. You can use the basics, which is like 16 by nine, which is the basic horizontal screen, or the nine by 16, which is the basic um, mobile format. Now, the other new thing that they've sneaked in is the blend feature or actually the blend interface, I would say, because you were able to blend before, but you needed to be a little tricky about it with copy pasting um, image URLs. But now you have the slash blend command. So what you can basically do is write slash blend, and then you can have multiple images, actually up to five, but we're gonna do two for now. I'm gonna take, um, take my space nebula that we saw before, and I'm gonna take uh, an image that I had from a glass bottle here. I'm gonna blend those together. And while that's working, I'll let you know that I have a Discord where people come in here and chat about uh, AI art in general, AI stuff. Uh, a lot of uh, experts in stable diffusion and mid journey. So if you need any help with anything or just, you know, need to chat, come join my Discord. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. As of right now, we're about um, 500 peeps. It's a cozy little hangout. And the Midjourney channel is um, kind of silent. So if you want to stay away from the official Midjourneys, you're just spamming images. You don't, you don't have the private. You're using the free or the basic ones. Just come here. You can use the channel. So yeah, here we can see the blend of the skull and the bottle. A lot of these are not perfect or not blended very well, but these two have blended well. This one's pretty cool because it uh, kept the skull here and kind of merged it together. So this is a really cool feature. I love this. This is amazing. But like I said, this is more of an interface change because the feature was there before, but it was kind of hidden. You had to actually upload your images by yourself and copy paste the link in. And you can still do that. We're going to upload actually to the bot here. Well, I have an image here. I have images here. Um, so, what, oh, here's me. Let's take me here. We're gonna take copy link. Go back here. I'm gonna take imagine this and another one. Let's take this one here. And then we can actually add a prompt. We could add, um, we'll say scale again. So now we're running the blend of the two images, but we also added skull, which is a more detailed prompt. And now this is just super basic skull, but you could write, you know, basically whatever you wanted. Now I didn't prepare this, so it's gonna be super interesting what we're getting. And uh, here we have it. So this is the blend of those two images and the skull. So you have what used to be me, Maybe my eyes are in there or my hair, my hair. You have the skull and what it saved from the other image was the background. You actually have, if you remember, we had the, um, let me check the image again. You had, see, you had an error here in the image. And that's actually still here. You can see it. So this is a super cool feature, the blend. But uh, it's now easier to use, and especially if you're on mobile, because it was a hassle trying to copy paste image links in. So just type blend, 
and drag and drop your images and you're gonna blend them. And again, up to five images. Hey, if you enjoy my content, it really helps me out if you like and subscribe. If you don't want to, that's fine. But if you wanna help out, put that uh, thumbs up. Thank you. So Mid Journey is getting a little bit better each day and it's actually getting some of the customization that Stable Diffusion has. Now Stable Diffusion is still the king when it comes to customization, but uh, Mid Journey is the king of getting a good image easily with your first prompt. Thanks for watching. As always, have a good one. See ya.